Hello lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clara's channel. Thank you for clicking. This is episode 13 on a five bedroom house that we are putting up in Almina. Okay, are you ready? Let's dive into the video. Alright, so in your view is a 3D representation of the house. Okay, um, there had been some few changes. Um, but the porch, the porch view is the same, but the only change is where the carport is. And I didn't like the fact that there was another pillar, making it a total of four pillars in front of the house. You understand? So we decided to remove those pillars from the carport and make it a hanging, uh, you know, uh, cantilever. And then the car will go underneath. You understand? Now, this is the ground floor plan. As I made mention in episode 12, there had been tremendous changes in the foundation up all the way to the substructure, you understand? So always ensure that your architects are giving you the exact information. Double check with them. The room sizes should be about 14 by 15 feet, okay? Excluding that of the wardrobe. There should be inbuilt bathroom Okay, and toilet, they should be sizable enough. The windows should be big, not small, small windows. You understand? All right, in your view is DMK. This is where I buy my blocks. Okay, so I encourage everyone, if you're living in Kasuanyanyano, okay, Bojiasi, Millennium City, you can call them and they will deliver the blocks to you. Their prices are affordable. If you need security features, please contact Mr. Nana Kwame Ampedu. Okay, for all your CCTV cameras, electric fence motor, automatic gate motor, GPS car tracker, okay, and bio data entry. Okay, contact Nana Kwame Ampedu for all of that. Now, in your view is the estimate for the entire project. This is without the finishing, okay. This is just the blog work from the foundation to the finishing. And in this episode of episode 13, we are still under superstructure, which is item 2. All right. So, in our previous episode, in episode 12, we ended up right here where I explained that all pillars should be thicker, four inches from the iron rod to your right, to the block work is four inches, okay? And then on the other side, there should be four inches, giving a total of eight, eight inches area around the iron rod, okay? So, the pillars will be thicker, are you with me? Most people don't do that or contractors tend to reduce, get the block closer to the iron rod and it is not healthy. It doesn't make the structure very strong. So we want to ensure that there is enough concrete around the block work to make, to hold the block work very firm. You understand? And then also I talked about the total number of blocks that we've used, about 3,200 blocks. Are you with me? Yes, in total. 3,200 blocks in total. All right. The quantity of iron rods, we bought 99 pieces of iron rods. Okay. Right from the foundation, we use 16 mm. Okay. And then this is the substructure. We have to lap. We don't say we join the iron rods. We call it lapping. So we lapped all the iron rods with the same 16 mm. Okay. Now, after casting the decking, when we go to the first floor, we will not use 16 mm anymore. We will reduce it to 14 mm. You understand? Because there is no continuation. So we want to reduce the cost. Okay. And also, um, 14 mm is not far from 16 mm because they are almost the same. Not exactly the same. But because there is not going to be any weight sitting on top of the first floor, we decided to reduce the iron rod from 16 mm to 14 mm. Okay. That is the main goal. All right. So. From here, our focal point is to achieve a top level for all the blog work. Areas where it is not possible are areas where the blog work is very tiny and we don't want to stack up the block. If not, with a little bit of air or pressure, it will fall off. You understand? So we we'll have to wait until the pillars have been casted. Once the pillar is casted, same time we have to, maybe the second day when the boards are removed, we would have to lay those blocks because the pillar is fresh 
and it is the best time to lay the block when it is completely dry and you attach the block to it it is not going to hold properly with time you will see a crack coming in between the block and that of the pillar so as you can see now see how thick the pillar is you understand yes the pillar is very very thick okay yes and sometimes when the blocks are laid in a very small tiny area if the carpenter come and they are doing the boarding it breaks are you with me it breaks off so it is advisable to let the carpenter lay the board, uh, you know place the board and then you you put the blocks in there are you with me so nicely everything has been done for the client okay i am so amazed i'm so excited because like i always say i have not seen their faces before okay they don't know exactly who i am just my voice and they place a contact they send me an email i responded and we moved on from there and it is my joy it is i'm so excited i'm super super excited that i'm doing this because it will change the narrative it will change the narrative that okay it's not difficult it's very difficult to build in ghana people will steal your money yes they will eat your money even our family members they are eating our money but here your money is safe okay all you have to do is let us go into the terms and condition okay do you want to be buying the materials yourself okay that's good for me i prefer that more when you buy the materials yourself when there's ups and down both advantages and disadvantages come to you are you with me yes and then also you have a fair idea as to what is happening because the estimate is right in front of you and so you see what is happening you understand yes all you have to do is pay directly to my artisans okay if you have someone that you believe just to you know go to the site and see what they are doing that is fair your architect can also come to the site anybody that you deem fit should be there will come there and witness what they are doing you can even send the money to that person and then a person pay my team you understand so whichever way we agree upon we are ready my goal is to put whatever project i'm going to execute for you on my cv and i'm going to be proud of myself understand yes and i will not let myself down i can't afford it i can't afford it no 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 my joy is to see you no know, me change that narrative of people saying oh it's not possible when you're out there you don't trust anybody back home oh don't do this this is a youtube channel no this is a credible youtube channel okay yes and my name is bright francis antonio and i live here in dubai and my team is back home in ghana and we are doing magic okay it's so beautiful okay we're putting smiles on the faces of people are you with me and that is my goal i urge all clients to be patient okay be mindful of your words be respectful some clients don't know how to communicate okay artisans are not some kind of rocks that you can just pick a phone and just talk to anyhow no you have to respect every human being okay you have to respect yes because you need their help and they need you are you with me yes so this it both ways it's just like okay you've contracted someone to work for you and therefore you can talk anyhow it is not allowed okay and myself i don't permit and i don't condone that it is not allowed so be very mindful of your entrances are you with me as all these areas are going to be patched up okay and then everything will be fine so eventually a top level level have been achieved and all the pillars have been casted so we are ready for the decking okay we are ready for the decking but before the decking we have to do another thing which is the oversight concrete okay right now the laterite have compacted properly okay and therefore it is the best time for us to do the oversight concrete once we are done with the oversight casting then it will be ready to receive the decking you understand so you can see how far we have come on this journey of building a five-bedroom house okay for me 
I am so determined and I'm hoping to show you a lot of projects. There are lots of projects in the pipeline that I'm going to be showing you. So this is episode 13. The last episode for this project will be episode 14. After that episode, I'll be moving on to other episode, uh, other projects that are pending. And then also I'll take you back to my house. Okay, my house is coming up nicely. Okay, after a long break, um, when my in-law passed on, okay, I have gone on a long break because myself, I have been broke for some time. So I'm trying to, you know, raise some capital and then also move into my project. So you'll be seeing a bit and pieces of different and various projects that we have been um, executing all this while. Okay, so Alumina project have been completed long time ago. Okay, long time ago, we've moved on to other projects, but I am just updating them little by little, and I have a lot of projects to share with you. Are you with me? So as of now, you can see those pillars are fresh, and they are adding those blocks on top because we cannot just tack up the blocks because of the height. We need to make sure that some are dry, and then we'll continue little by little. So in total, we have about 11 courses, of the blocks okay and so a top level achieved and we are ready for the decade this is a two plot okay and this is the plot at the back all right there is another plot at the front and that plot is in a valley and I don't like the idea because sometimes when people are buying plot try to get a full video and detail of the land okay let them clear the land so that you can see it if there are weeds on the land, please don't buy it. Let them clear the land so that you can see all the topographical area of the land. And then you decide. Don't buy land in waterlock. Make sure it is raining. And then you buy your land. Then you know that, okay, this is not a waterlock. Don't let them tell you, oh, it will dry. No, it will not dry. Okay, it's waterlock, it's waterlock. Don't buy it because guess what? You will spend so much in trying to rectify that. Okay, that money can you know go up and build in your house for you. Okay, there's water in the on the land or in the land. That is a lot of work. You have to buy a lot of uh, waterproof cement and chemicals in order to to avoid you know those molds from building up and your 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 walls to make them stronger. You understand? So make sure you're vigilant. Your eyes are wide open. So please see, this thing has been done neatly, completely done. Okay, his money has been invested wisely. So what are you waiting for? Contact me as soon as possible. My email is on the screen, brightantonio at outlook.com. Send me your drawing. I will prepare an estimate for you at a cost of $60. Okay, and once you approve the estimate, we will go and start building your house. If your house is in the rural or outskirts or isolated, we will need a temporary structure or um, a small room nearby within the area to rent for a month or a two and then we will put up your structure for you because the closer we are, the faster your structure will be constructed. Are you with me? So bear it in mind, I want you to be involved in the construction of your dream house so that you have that feeling. I'll come your way with the final episode, which is episode 14. Please keep sharing, keep sharing, and make us number one, okay? From me to you, it's shalom. God bless you wherever you are. Bye-bye.